Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I decided to bring actually this quick video which I'm gonna go over a very um, requested um, topic which is basically how do we redirect using React and React Router DOM. And I was a bit surprised with the sheer amount of people who asked me this question because I, I feel like it would be something that you just search on Google and find it on Stack Overflow really quickly, right? But the thing is that I realized that there are many different conflicting answers, which makes it very confusing. And when I learned it, I, I, I also was confused. And that's why I decided to make this video because um, I wanted to go over the two different ways you can redirect in React Router DOM because there's actually two different ways of doing it. And in my opinion, you should use those two ways Ways, um, depending on the occasion. So I'm going to go over two different ways in which you can redirect in React Router DOM. And before we get into the video, if you guys could leave a like, that would massively help the channel grow. Um, I'm, I'm putting a lot of work into this channel, so I would really appreciate if you guys could help me grow. The algorithm will definitely push my video to more people if you guys start liking and subscribing if you guys are not subscribed. So I just wanted to make that request. If you guys could do that, I would really appreciate it. So now let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so you can see right here, I have this um, React application. I'm going to zoom in a bit so you guys can see it better but you can see it's very simple right i just have a, a very simple react application you can ignore most of the stuff the only thing you should know is that we are using react router dom here at the top as you can see um and i'm just going to delete like this which i'm not going to use i'm going to save this and you can see that i actually have um two different um routes right i have the login route and the profile route and both of them are different components they are inside of a folder called pages as you can see and both of them are pretty simple all right the login just has two inputs for username and password and a button to log in when you click on it and on the profile it just says if you're here you're allowed to be here which means that someone who shouldn't be in a profile page like if someone didn't log in they shouldn't be able to access a profile page right and you can see that it, this is our application if I go to the currently, if I go to the login page, you can see there's the two buttons and the no, the two inputs and the button. And if I go to the um, profile page, um, you'll see that there's no problems whatsoever because um, we can get into it, but we haven't logged in, and that's a problem. So the two different occasions, which I think are extremely important to um, kind of just differentiate the ways in which you should um, redirect, is basically one of them is when you like do some action so like when you click on a button or you i don't know you do something in a page you you create you make an api request that kind of stuff right um and the other one is basically when you try to reach a page which you shouldn't and then you should redirect so there's two different ways of doing this right um and in this case um we're gonna use um the first way for the login so when we click on the button it should redirect us to um in this case to the profile page but if someone uh, tries to reach the profile page then without being logged in then we're going to use the diff the other um redirect method to redirect them back to the login page so that's the idea right that's the flow of our project and to do that obviously i'm using react router dom as you can see right here if you, if you are not familiar with react router dom i have a, a full tutorial on this i'm gonna um, put a card up here and leave a link in the description if you want to check it out i go over every single thing you should know about react router dom but the thing is um Let's start implementing actually the first way, which is um, how in the login route, like how do we actually um, click on this button and redirect ourselves to the profile page. So to do that, it's actually pretty simple. There is something in um, the React Router DOM library, which is a hook called use history. And I'm going to import it from React Router DOM over here. And I'm just going to import the hook here, use history. And this hook is basically, it's very simple. All you have to do is basically it will hold information about the previous page you were in. And it, if you push, if you call a method from this hook, it will basically re redirect you and change your location to the, na to the page that you want to go, right? So to do that, you actually just need to come over here and say const, um, actually, I'm going to use let. I'm just going to say something like let, and I'm going to call history equal to use history like this, pretty simple. And then whenever you want to um, change routes or redirect to another page, all you have to do is say history dot push. And over here, you pass whatever route you want to redirect to. So in our case, profile. So literally, this is all you have to do. And whenever you want to change again, you just do history dot push and the route. So it's pretty simple. But the thing is, um, we don't want to actually push um, over here, we want to push it based on if someone clicked on the login button. And obviously, we're not caring right now about like if the username and password are correct. This is just for uh, like demonstration purposes. But I'm going to delete this. I'm going to come here to the button. And I'm just going to say on click. And I'm going to pass here 
the the button and I'm gonna say something like um, history dot push and I'm gonna push to the profile page like this and now what should happen is I'm just gonna delete this over here what should happen is basically when we come here to our page and I go to the login over here imagine I'm, I want to log in I do something like my username is um, Pedro Tech my password is um, one two three when I click on login it should redirect me to the profile page and as you can see this is exactly what happens so this is the first method which is basically you push a new route to the history um, API and basically it will allow you to redirect based on actions However, the second method is a bit more confusing in my in my, my opinion, right? Which is basically how do we redirect um, like if you're trying to log into a page and you're not authorized, right? So let's imagine that we have this variable called authorized and probably it's going to be like a global a context state, something that you can access everywhere in your application. But I'm not going to show how to create uh, global variables. I have videos on this if you want to check it out. Um, I'm, let's just imagine that this is the case, right? And so inside of our profile page, um, right now, we're just going to have this variable called authorize and I'm going to come over here and call it authorize like this. And basically what happens is I'm just taking it as props, but like um, the profile component should only be rendered if authorized is true, right? And if authorized isn't true, then you want to redirect. So let's actually pass this value like a true or false value for authorized um, when we call this component. So to do that, we have to come over here to the routes to, to the where we're calling the routes and we want to pass it as a as a prop to the profile but since like when you call a component you can't actually pass props like this we actually have to change this to this like this and just pass like profile like this and now we can pass props so we have to pass a prop called authorized and it should be a true or false value to represent if you want to be able if like we're actually authorized or not right and this is just an example if you obviously, as I mentioned before, you should have a state that actually like um, authenticates a user, authorizes a user, whatever you want. So let's just come over here. And for now, let's just say um, false, actually, let's just say false. Um, so what happens is the user is not authorized. So what do we do to redirect this user? Well, there's another component in React Water DOM, which is um, pretty self explanatory, the name is redirect. So you can actually import something called redirect over here. And this component will literally do what the name it says, what the name says, right? You, it will redirect you to whatever route you want to. So inside of here, what you can do is you can check conditionally if um, the user is not authorized. And if the user is not authorized, then you instead of returning this like the, the HTML, the JSX for the page, you just return the component um, redirect. And you put the link to where you want to redirect. So in redirect, you actually need to pass um, a two prop like this. And this two is just a string, which contains the route. So I'm going to redirect to login. Now the flow of this is, it will get this variable, um, which is right now a prop, um, it will check its value, if it is not true, then it's going to return um, the redirect to login instead of returning this and it will just ignore the rest of the page, right. So let's see if this is working right now. Um, authorized is equal to false. So it should actually be working. Let's come over here. And let's go to the um, to the profile, like this. And you should see that it doesn't change us. it turned it, it like it, it puts it back back into the login, we literally can't go to the to the um, profile page, even if I click the login button, it will, <laughs> it will keep me on the same page because authorized is false. And every time we go to the the profile page, um, it automatically redirects us back to the login page. So let's change this back to true. And let's see what happens. When we try to go to the profile page, you'll see that now um, we'll be able to go to the profile page. So this is like basically it. And um, these are the two methods you're able to um, Re to use to make it so that you you can redirect in your application. I know it looks simple. However, it is very confusing, um, especially for beginners, because um, the documentation for React Router DOM, in my honest opinion, isn't the best right now. And I think that um, making this distinction between both um, redirecting based on an action and redirecting based on like some sort of authentication or authorization is really important. So 
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and comment what you want to see next. This was a really quick video, which is something I usually don't do, but I just really wanted to make this for those who have doubts right now. So, yeah, that's basically it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I see you guys next time.